Hi guys, Jimmy from Boxing Life, and in today's video, I just wanted to give you my quick reaction to Tyson Fury calling out Derek Chisora, which once again is a fight I'm not really intrigued by, if I'm being honest. I think this, I feel, is a bit of a cherry-picked fight, and considering all the chat around Tyson Fury being retired, well, he's probably thinking he needs to keep up consistency and so he doesn't get ring rust if he does decide to challenge for the undisputed title against the winner of Usyk and Joshua. And could it be a smart move from Tyson Fury taking a fight against Chisora? He's obviously been in with him twice already before he won a world title and it could just be a good fight for him to, ha to have before he maybe gets a fight against Usyk or Joshua you know, at the end of the year or potentially early next year. So a big part of it is just to get activity for him. You know, I think obviously Derek Chisora is a huge name over in the UK anyway. It would generate a lot of attention. You know, Chisora has been proven to be able to do pay-per-views over here in the UK in particular. So people probably would buy to watch that fight. In terms of legacy, I guess, Fury would match the likes of Muhammad Ali with two heavyweight trilogies. I believe Ali it was obviously Joe Frazier. I think it's Ken, Ken Norton, correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm not too sure if there's anyone else that's been able to, to do that. Yeah, let me know in the comments below who else has had two trilogies like this would be. Overall, it's just a fight that's very underwhelming to me personally, you know. At the end of the day, these are prize fighters, they want to make money and I understand it from that point of view and for even activity in the case of Tyson Fury, you know, who's only had two fights since 2020, if you think about it like that. And I guess for the sake of Derek Chisora, obviously, you know, it doesn't really matter to him anymore if he loses, you know, it's definitely about payday and his record is now 33 for 12, you know. He has had some big fights in his later years, you know, he's obviously fought Usyk and Joseph Parker twice, Dillian White twice, um, and he's also knocked out some, you know, relatively good heavyweights, you know, Carlos Takam, you know, obviously he just beat Pulev recently. You know, like I said, it's a bit of a tune-up fight for Tyson Fury, he's been in the ring with him twice. Obviously, Chisora is a lot older, and, you know, he's had some bad knockouts as well. I think he has, you know, obviously managed to get through. I don't think he's been knocked out since the Dillian White fight, which was, you know, 2019, 2018 now. So Derek Chisora will definitely feel he'll have a chance and he'll want to take the fight. Obviously, it's a big payday if it was to happen, but I'm just, I can't help but be quite underwhelmed by this. When you consider that there is other top heavyweights that would be dying for this chance. If you look at the kind of top 10 right now, you know, Joseph Parker and Tyson Fury are very close friends, so obviously that would never happen. A fourth fight with Wilder would never happen. A rematch with White wouldn't happen. Ruiz Jr. and Ortiz are already about to fight. Joyce and uh, Parker are obviously going to fight. And then you've got Hergovic and Sanchez, who I guess commercially no one really knows who they are, if, if I'm being honest, outside the boxing world. So it would be a bit of a harder sell. And then obviously you have guys on the fringes like Robert Hellenius, Daniel Dubois, Michael Hunter, Otto Wallen again. So yeah, I think it makes sense that Chisora would be an option, but you look at the rankings and you know he's nowhere near the top 10 really in any of the governing bodies. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this happening. Um, Tyson Fury as well has also said that Isaac Lowe would be his trainer for this fight, uh, which is an interesting one. I don't know if that's just bullshit from Tyson Fury as usual, or if Isaac Lowe would be the main man. It's not like I feel Tyson Fury would need someone to guide him that much for this fight. You know, he's very much a fighter that knows what he's doing for the most part, and he's fought Chisora twice, and you would clearly have the confidence to beat someone like Chisora. But overall, it's just a bit underwhelming if this was to happen. 
it is very much a cherry pick tune up fight for me but and i guess you get to say that fight against improved chisora you know he has got better of age i guess in some respects and he does give tough fights to the elite fighters just look at the Usyk and parker fight he was able to still give them tough challenges and if i'm being honest this is a bit of a money grab for me i'd love to hear your thoughts and you guys as always thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one